Hey, it's Tracy. We're here at Carvin's Cove in Roanoke, Virginia. Um, we've been here before um, and we liked it so much we figured we'd had to come back. So today we're going to do a little bit of a loop. Um, so I think that one of these are the trails that we're doing. Let's see, I don't know if you can read them. Uh, we're going to go up Heidi, -o, Heidi Ho, um, down Gauntlet. Then we're going to go on Troth. Uh, I can't even read Kevin's handwriting. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, still climbing up. Heidi Ho. Uh, had to walk some for sure. It's about a mile and six tenths of this parking lot. And 170 feet of elevation. I think Kevin said we get to the top. It's about 900 feet of elevation. It looks like we're coming to the top, but I'm not sure. We'll find out. Oh boy, that was not easy. Got to be at the top. There's a bench. Oh, the gauntlet, which it says it's a double black diamond, but I don't know. <laughs> just be careful. It's like a 900, we just climbed 900 feet and now it looks like we're gonna descend 900 feet. So. Welcome to the world of being a mountain biker. Yeah. You wanted that e-bike. I did want an e-bike climbing that sucker for sure. You too, be careful. Make sure I got the suspension. I didn't lock it out a little bit on that last time. Carvin's Cove is a 12,700 acre natural preserve and is the second largest municipal park in the country. There are over 60 miles of multi-use trails at Carvin's. For mountain biking, the best place to park is at either Bennett Springs or Timberview parking lots. The trail systems at Carvin's is generally divided into an upper trails that are more advanced and the lower trails that are more beginner friendly. Okay. The park is open from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. and for a small fee, you can enjoy these wonderful trails. Whoa, boy. Yeah, I'm glad I slowed down to that. Oh yeah, very pretty. Sending Buck, the sign says it's a black diamond. Ooh. Yeah, that looks very tight. Oh, Nelly, yeah. In 1746, William Carvin, a Welsh settler, received this land as a land grant. Part of the land became Happy Valley, and the other part became the campus of what is now Holland University. Happy Valley was once the home of 59 families and was located where the reservoir is today. Some of the trails around the reservoir are named after those families, like Jacob's Drop, which is named after Dr. Jacob Kern, father of the Senator John W. Kern, who was also a summer resident at Happy Valley. Carvin's Residence Hall 
at Hollands was built on the site where William Carvin's log homestead in 1889 was. That's pretty over here. Nice. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss my next video on Carvin's Cove and see if I make it up Heidi Hove the second time today.